In continuation with our series of obstacle limitation surfaces, moving on to the fifth surface that is inner approach surface, which is defined as a rectangular portion of the approach surface immediately preceding the threshold. Once the inner approach surface is added in OLS, the overall OLS structure of an aerodrome would somehow look like this. The red area marked in the approach surface is inner approach surface. Zooming in for one runway, starting from the runway strip that is 60 meters from runway threshold extending for 900 meters, the red area marked is inner approach surface. It has a width of 120 meters and just like approach surface, it has a slope of 2%. So we can say that inner approach surface is actually the part of approach surface since it is also having the slope of 2% yet having a width of only 120 meters unlike approach surface which was having a width of 280 meters. I hope it was clear. Thank you and stay tuned.